Injection molding relies on the accuracy of estimated cooling times to achieve the desired part quality and improve production efficiency. SimForm contains advanced parameters that help you estimate cooling times effectively to improve your mold design process. Sign up for a free trial today and experience the convenience and efficiency of SimForm. The expected cooling time is an optional parameter in SimForm that allows you to specify the minimum simulation duration to ensure adequate cooling of the molded part. The SimForm solver adjusts the simulation time to meet your specified expected cooling time, and it adapts the time interval between time steps based on your expected cooling time. Using these customized cooling strategies, you can better align with the real-world manufacturing scenarios. In this demonstration, I will run three different simulations to analyze how the results are affected by using different expected cooling times. The first simulation will have no defined expected cooling time. The second will have an expected cooling time that exceeds the estimated cooling time. And this can be the actual time used in production. This allows me to understand the impact of keeping my part in the mold longer than the minimum estimated by SimForm and the third simulation will have an expected cooling time that is lower than the estimated cooling time. This shorter expected cooling time allows me to test more aggressive manufacturing parameters and understand the impact of ejecting parts earlier than a minimum estimated by SimForm to increase production yield and reduce part costs. For this example, I will use a mold design of a mouse shell model. The mold plastic part, and channel components are already defined. Now for the first simulation, I will leave the expected cooling time box in the optional configuration panel empty, and I'll click Submit Job to solve the model. When the solve is complete, notice that the estimated cooling time is around 6 seconds. SimForm estimates the cooling time for the part surface to be solid and thick enough to be ejected without damaging the parts. Now I will click Add a job to create a second job. I'll type a meaningful name that identifies it, for example, higher expected cooling time, and I'll click Add. In the optional configuration panel, in the expected cooling time box, I will type a higher value than the estimated cooling time from the first simulation, for example, 15 seconds. And then I will submit the job to solve it. Now I'll repeat the same procedure to create a third job, which I will name lower expected cooling time. And I'll set the expected cooling time to, for example, 3 seconds. To compare the results, I will open the higher expected cooling time job and click Results to open the results page. Then I'll click Compare Jobs for the no expected cooling time to compare the results side by side. This table shows the results of the three jobs. Notice that the freeze time for the three simulations is in the range of 5 and 7 seconds. The final temperature distribution values are similar for the no expected and lower cooling times. In fact, when the expected cooling time is less than the freeze time, the simulation runs until the expected cooling time. Then it exceeds it and continues to run until it reaches the freeze time. This approach can be used to get the temperature distribution at a specific time in the process, for example, to help troubleshoot production problems. The final temperature distribution values are lowest for the high expected cooling time which is expected since by setting a high expected cooling time, we allowed the part to spend a longer period of time in the mold to cool, resulting in a lower temperature distribution. Now when we compare the time steps, notice that when no expected cooling time is specified, the simulation continues to run until one time step over the freeze time. When the expected cooling time exceeds the freeze time, the simulation continues to run until the expected time, and when the expected cooling time is less than the freeze time, the simulation time exceeds the expected cooling time and continues to run until the freeze time. Defining the expected cooling time option in SimForm provides the mold designer and master molder with finer insights to run what-if scenarios, 
and evaluate the impact of ejecting parts earlier or leaving them in the mold longer. These scenarios can play a key role in mold trials and production troubleshooting. This customizable parameter gives you more control over simulation results and allows for optimized cooling strategies that bridges the gap between simulation and real-world manufacturing. Thank you for watching this tutorial.